Let's uh, just jump right into it. Philip DeFranco. What's up, YouTube? This is Profity2. Today, I thought it'd be a fun video idea to rank every piece in the Ocarina of Time soundtrack. And if you don't know, Ocarina of Time is one of my favorite games of all time. It is my favorite game of all time. And it has a big freaking soundtrack. Every single one of these has some sort of childhood memory attached to it, and we're going to be ranking them from top to bottom. And I'm taking, you know, this uh, YouTube playlist as my model of it. They're, it's really, like, up in air how, how many pieces and what pieces are in it. Uh, so I'm just going to use this one as a base. There's 65 tracks in here, and we're not going to count uh, any of the songs because there's only, like, 10 seconds of those. It's not really a track... Uh, we're just gonna go for the actual songs in it, which would be 52. Hey, look at that, 52. There's 52 tracks, excluding, you know, the songs from the ocarina. That is awesome. That is so crazy. Anyway, so we're gonna rank all 52. I'm gonna have to list them in this notepad. Uh, real quick. Just to have the unranked here whoo that was that's quite the doozy that's a lot of tracks and now the list so we have 52 tracks to rank here it's crazy I'm gonna go listen to about 10 seconds from each get the gist of what they are I know most of these to heart but you know just a refresher see where they sh would be placed if I were to you rank them, which I am. So, first up, title theme. Alrighty, dude. Alright, that's good. That was 20 seconds. Jesus. Uh, this one's always going to be high up there for me because, you know, uh, it's so much nostalgia. It's the title theme of the game. Really, like, methodical. Anyway, uh, where I think it would be for right now... I don't know about top five. I'll put it at number seven for now. Title theme. Uh, we'll see. It's, you know, more stuff goes in. Now! A 13 second track, Enter Ganondorf. For some of these, they're so short, we'll be able to listen to the whole thing. Uh, obviously that plays in the, you know, uh, vision thing at the very beginning of the game, right after the first, like, opening text, uh, when Young Link sees, you know, Ganondorf on his horse. Um, it's one of the more filler tracks, whatever. It's It's got its moments. I'm gonna put it somewhat low, though. Enter Ganondorf. For 45 for now. It might move up, it might move down. Who knows? Anyway, next up, Deku Tree. Man, some of these I just want to listen to, like, the whole thing throughout. Um, Deku Tree, this is, you know, a more orchestraic, you know, bag, not bagpipe, but, like, wind instruments, you know, low monotone stuff going on. Um, you know, it's very iconic, unique, uh, but still, toward the beginning of the game, it's, you know, got that Deku Tree vibe. I'm gonna put it 27 for now, so Deku Tree. Again, most of these will move drastically once some new stuff gets on the list. Alright, next one, Navi Fairy. I know what this is. Yeah. Alright, and uh, that's what plays during the long cutscene of Navi flying to Link's little house. Link has a house in that game. I never even really processed that. Um. It's somewhat good. I'm going to put it just below Enter Ganondorf. Fairy Navi. Alright. 
Next up, it's the ever iconic Inside a House. Man, it's great. Um, it's you know kind of the stock music that YouTubers use in videos a lot as like like background music or whatever. It's so great. I don't know. It's not one of those tracks that I just love so much as a piece of music, but it's just so iconic. I couldn't put it more than I couldn't put it below top twenty. I'm gonna put it at fifteen right now. Inside a house. Awesome, awesome track. Next up is Cookie Your Forest. Anyway, uh, that plays, of course, in Cookie Your Forest, sort of start the game. Uh, it's iconic, but it's too, like, you know, pringy, high pitched for me. Uh, I don't know. I think I it's just below Deku Tree for me. I think Kokiri Forest. It's fine, you know, iconic, whatnot. Every freaking thing in this track is iconic. Uh, but you know, it's I don't really let, enjoy it as much as a music piece. But yeah, moving up, shop. God, it's it's one of those like inside a house where it's just so iconic. I'm gonna put it at number eleven right now. Great, awesome, a banjo, dude. Next up is battle. Oh, this one's also got autoplay on it. Here we go. Anyway, as I was saying, it's kind of in the same vein as Inside House and Shop, where it's just one of those filler tracks that's so iconic at this point. Um, I, I've always personally loved this one to some extent. It's still going to be significantly lower than those two, uh, but it's still pretty good. I'll put it at a straight 20 for now. Alright, next up, Inside the Deku Tree. Uh, video Game Donkey analyze this one quite thoroughly so I won't speak too much about it right now click Um, let's have repeat is live, dude. Um, so it's, it's, you know, got the same vibe as Deku Tree and whatnot, and Donkey analyzed this, you know, it's how you create items here in a video game, that's what he said. Uh, it's very, you know, unsettling, and, uh, you know, it's got that ancient vibe. So it's nice, I don't know if I'd put it tremendously high. I still think I like Deku Tree and even Kokiri Force more than it, but I feel like they're all kind of in the same tier. So unfortunately, I'm going to put Inside the Deku Tree a little bit lower, uh, just because I don't really enjoy it as much as a track, which I said about the other Kokiri ones. So next up, Boss Battle. Man, it's, yeah, again, it's, you know, like everything in this track, it's so iconic and great. It's just the perfect vibe for uh, what what it's going for, and it's, it's great. It's really unsettling, you know, intense, you know, when you're in a boss battle, 
it's the boss battle track in my opinion and you know there's several different boss battle tracks in here this is my favorite of them all i i love this one i'm gonna put it right next to battle boss battle all right next up is hyrule field It's the iconic Zelda track. Um, so, for Hyrule Field, uh, it is, you know, iconic, and I gotta put it kinda up there just for being the Hyrule Field theme. Uh, it still has that kind of, like, retro vibe for me, you know, it's got that pringy, you know, Ocarina of Time vibe, where it's just kinda, like, synthy a little bit, but, you know, it's still got its orchestraic moments. Um, I like the later renditions of this one, but it's still really great here. Uh, I couldn't live with myself if I put it above inside a house, I just love it too much, so... Or even boss battle. I'm gonna put it 21. Hyrule Field, unfortunately. Field, not fields. <laughs> Alright, Kabora Gabora. I don't have too much high expectations for this one. Ah, oh, well. This is great, too. Um, so, you know, it's that kind of text bubble speech, just plays when Kipora Gabora, the owl, is talking to you. Um, you know, it's, it's in the same vein as Inter Ganondorf, you know, it's just like, you know, to fill, you know, that certain window of the text bubble. You don't talk to Kipora Gabora that much in the game, like three or four times, so I'm going to not put it below uh, all of these. I'll put it at 40. Kipora Gabora. When I was looking at it, uh, I thought it would be really well, but you know, upon listening to it, I still recognize it. It's recognizable enough to be high up enough. Anyway, down. I want to see the comments for this one. I know exactly what it is. Where is it? <laughs> oh man, I gotta I gotta pull up the PBG video, I'm making all these connections. This plays in a PBG video. I oh, I forget what it was called. Uh, it was probably the G Files. G Files, Ben Drowned. I think it was. Man, I just have an amazing memory for each video. Anyway, there's this is one moment in this video where he mentions this. Even before you go forward in time, you can find a dying soldier in the back alley who was attacked by his men. He talks to you for a bit, and then he dies. But the happy music is still playing, so who cares, I guess? Hey, this soldier is dead. Oh, what a happy day. Hey, this soldier is dead. I just watched him die. Come just because of this video, it's just so iconic and ingrained in my brain, so on and so forth, whatever, uh, that I gotta put it up there. So, I'm gonna put town just below Hyrule Field. I'm... I think that's good for now. I'll probably go back and, you know, <laughs> fix these at some point. Uh, well, I put town shooting gallery instead of town and shooting gallery separate. Anyway, I might do some minor revisions. Shooting gallery. This is the mini game theme, uh, most notably as the you know the slingshot and archery games theme. Uh, Some forgettable of the you know indoor tracks. I'm gonna put it just above Kabora Gibora. Shooting gallery. Next up is Hyrule Castle Courtyard.
Uh, this plays a, as a background for in a lot of YouTube videos, uh, just as filler music, and it's a great piece. It's nice and happy. Uh, it, I don't I don't like it more than Town. I don't like it more than the Kokiri tracks. Do I? No, I don't. I'm gonna put it at 32 for now. Our uh, castle courtyard, not town. I will castle courtyard. Anyway, mini game. Uh, I like this a bit more than the shooting gallery theme. It's just more iconic. Uh, I'm gonna put it above or below. Above or below. I'm gonna put it above these actually. I'm gonna put it way up here. Mini game. Mini game. All right, now it's time for Lon Lon Ranch. God. God, it's just too nostalgic. It hurts, man. I love Lon Lon Ranch theme so much. It's even more iconic in like normal pop culture nowadays. I'm gonna put it at a solid five. Great track. Great track. Great, great track. Anyway, next up, Princess Zelda. Um, this is, you know, Zelda's Lullaby. It's been ingrained in our brains for forever, you know, being Zelda's Lullaby track. I like Meet Zelda again a little bit better, and that's gonna, you know, come into play later in the list. I, I, it's just, I've heard it so many times, I don't want to hear it anymore. I'm gonna put it a kind of low, even though it doesn't really deserve to be as low as this. I'm gonna put it just below Castle Courtyard, Princess Zelda. Next up is Kakariko Village. I don't quite remember what the difference is between Kakariko Village 1 and 2. Uh, this is the more, like, pringy one, so I don't enjoy it as much. I think, uh, Kakariko Village 2 is the one I prefer. I haven't heard it yet, so I wouldn't know. But I'm gonna put it below inside of how uh... I'm gonna put it below shop. For now. Kakariko Village. Alright. Because, you know, it's Kakariko Village. It's gotta be up there. Anyway, next up is Goron City, one of my personal favorites. It's just such a vibe music. Every single one of these tracks just is like, it's perfect for that one thing, that one mood you're in. There's always a Zelda track for that, or specifically an Ocarina of Time track. I love Goron City. I'm going to put it uh, above Kakariko. Above Shop, actually. Actually, no. I'm going to move Shop up and put Goron City and Kakariko right next to each other. Gor uh, no. I'm going to put it back the way it was. For now, at least. I might change my mind. Anyway, we'll see. Lost Woods. Uh, 
Another track like Zelda's Lullaby, where it's just ingrained in your brain, it's playing, it's playing all the time. Uh, serious song, it's, again, it's got that pringy vibe, and I generally don't enjoy those tracks as much. Uh, I'm gonna put it right here. Lost Woods. It's, it's a good enough track, and it's, yeah, iconic enough to, you know, be up there. But personally, uh, it's kind of irritating to hear all the time. But, you know, it's, it's Lost Woods, and I enjoy it for what it is, but yeah, enough's been said about it. Moving on, Dodongo's Cavern. This is one of the more um, lesser iconic dungeon themes, in my opinion. It's you know creepy, and it's it's good for what it does. I it just doesn't have you know the personality that the other one does do. It's still kind of creepy, and it has those one moments that just like you know it sets a chain reaction in my uh, genes. It's just like all of a sudden I just like yeah yeah I know that I know that to the, my heartbeat. Um, so I don't know I don't like it. I'm gonna put it. 25 for now. Dodongo's. Actually, no. <laughs> no, I'm gonna put it 31. It kind of fits like a puzzle piece right there. Dodongo's cavern. I like it enough. It's just, you know, ambient. Middle boss battle. Mini boss battle, more like. Um, you know, this is somewhat pringy, but, you know, it has that orchestra, you know, bass line kind of thing going on with a, a bass violin, I believe that's what that is. It's, you know, iconic enough for me to enjoy it, so I'm gonna put it at a solid 25 middle boss battle. Kind of almost smack dab in the middle of the list, which is poetic. Next up, Dodongo boss battle. So there's two main boss battle tracks in this game. There's, you know, the first one, and then there's the middle boss battle. This It's called the Dongo boss battle, but it's also used for Vovagia, I believe. So I don't enjoy it as much as boss battle, so I couldn't put it above that. I'm going to put it... Dodongo's Cavern. I'm going to put it in Dodongo's Cavern's place. Dongo boss battle. Battle. And I'm going to put the Dongo Cavern... A little bit lower, Dodongo's Cavern. There. Next up, Sora's Domain. Dude, I'm about to cry. That's like one of the most nostalgic pieces of music ever created. I love it so much. Uh, most people I know in prefer Gerudo Valley, and it, you know, it's a good track. It's just, you know, too uppy for me. God, Zora's Domain is such a vibe. I love it so much. I'm going to put it at number two for now. It might move up to number one because I personally enjoy it, but I just want to make sure there's nothing I'd put over it before I solidify it as number one. Great, though. Great track. Oh, Great Fairy's Fountain. This is the save file pick music as well as, you know, the Great Fairy's Fountain. It's more pretty than most, but uh, it has, you know, bass lines not to establish it in 
you know, place. It's not too, he doesn't get too carried away with the prings like some of them. I, I like it. It's one of the more iconic tracks that is. It's great. It's fine enough. So I'm going to put it at 24 for now. Great Fairies Fountain. That's not how you spell fairies. Fairies Fountain. Next up is Potion Shop. When I saw this one, I was just kind of like, oh, it's going to be a generic shop theme, but I swear to God, every single one of these has personality, and I remember this one. It's a great piece of music. I'm going to I'm gonna put it right here in town. Oh, no. No. I'm going to move all of these up one. So I'm going to do... What am I going to do? How am I going to do this? I want to put it above Lost Woods right here. So I do 28, 27. This is where it's gonna get complicated when I'm moving them in mass. 23, 22. And then 29, uh, potion shop. Now I have two 22s, so I'll just get rid of it. Anyway, inside Jabba Jabba's belly. This one isn't why it's bad or low, isn't because it's a bad piece of music, but mainly, mainly just it evokes disgusting things for and for what it is i mean it's inside jabba jabba's belly it, it succeeds at what it does but as a track it's just kind of nasty and it doesn't have that you know zelda flair in its music i'm gonna put it kind of lower it's solid 50 for now one of the weaker dungeon themes and tracks as a whole in here shorten it to jabu jabu no apostrophes anyway temple of time As a kid, this was the nostalgic pick for me, just because it's so, like, you know, it's got the choir going on. It's kind of evoking of memories. It's built to do that, but, you know, it's, it doesn't really have, it does have Zelda personality. It's one of those iconic tracks. It's kind of just too much of being what it's for, being Temple of Time, that it can't really work as a track that you listen to by itself it's it's fine you know it's it's good uh i don't know if i'd put it above 20 though i'm gonna put it right here so i'm gonna do well, how i forget how to do this already so 23 22 that's not right 21 20 and then Temple of Time. So nineteen eighteen. Bye bye eighteen. Alright, next up is Ganondorf. Um, this plays when, you know, Ganondorf gets into the Sacred Realm on it. It also plays during certain Ganondorf text boxes and whatnot. Uh, it's too generic for me, you know, it's it, it's Ganondorf, and you get that vibe when you're listening to it. 
Uh, I'm gonna put it at 48 for now, because uh, Enter Ganondorf has more flair, and I couldn't put it above it. So, 48 Ganondorf. That's how you spell it. Anyway, Chamber of Sages. When I listen to this one, I get the Chamber of Sages vibe from it, and it's it's iconic, and it's used in other Zelda games as well, in A Link Between Worlds, and most notably, uh, and it is like the Chamber of Sages theme in that game as well, so it's not just like a cameo from the track, it is a pretty integral part of the questing in that game. So it is iconic, uh, and it's it's pretty vibey too, it's got the pringy, like the water droplet kind of vibe it's going on. Um, it's kind of irritating to the ears, uh, just because it's how loud it is, or maybe it's just how loud I play in the track, whatever. I'm gonna put it... Oof. See, I don't wanna, I don't wanna move all of these. I'm, I'll put it here, you know, why not? I, I could see it being there. I, if you were to ask me, I'd put it a little bit higher, just because I don't wanna move this whole thing. <laughs> I'm gonna put it there for now. Chamber of Sages. Sheik! This is Pringy, the music, the score, the soundtrack, whatever. Um, this plays, you know, during chic segments, and it's nice, you know, it, it fits the vibe, but the harp is just, like, pounding in my eardrums. I don't enjoy it very much, so I'm going to put it right there. Actually, yeah, I'm going to put it there. Chic. Next up, horse race. This is very similar to the sliding theme in Mario 64, uh, and it's nice, you know, it plays during, you know, getting the opponent segment, and I, I personally enjoy it, I like to use it in my editing, it's a nice, you know, upbeat track, uh, and I, I personally love it, it's great. I'm gonna put it at 19, which means I'm gonna have to move these guys. 19, 18, 19, 17, bye bye 17, horse race. All right, next up, Ingo. Uh, you know, this is Ingo's music, you get the Ingo vibe from it, but it's too, like, yo, da 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 kind of vibe going from it. I'm gonna put it a little bit lower, just because, you know, it's not one of my more memorable, memorable picks from this game. Right here, Ingo. Yeah, whatever. For capitalization. Anyway, Kakariyo Village 2, what I've been eagerly anticipating to see how different it is from its predecessor. The most notable difference from this one, and it's not the, it's a, you know, just less of integral pings from this one. I do enjoy it more than Kakariko Village. I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it right next to it, but it is still better than it. Kakariko Village 2, which means shops going up to a 10, and then Goron City up here. Goron City. Alright, next up, Windmill Hut. I don't quite remember this one. I did. Alright,
This is one of the more iconic Ocarina songs turned into music that I enjoy. I love the Song of Storms. It's great. And I'm going to put it at a 16, just to, you know, fit as a puzzle piece in there. I don't like it more than Inside a House. I arguably don't like it more than Boss Battle, but I'm not about to go moving tracks over here. I do enjoy the Song of Storms, so Windmill Hut is a certified grum moment from me. Next up, the Forest Temple. God, this one is so memorable for me, because the first temple was like, you know, as a kid, it was really scary, especially from, you know, this music, so I, I would always, like, you know, approach the forest temple as a kid and not want to progress because of how scary the track made it seem, uh, and also when I hear it in, like, old PBG videos, I'm like, Jesus Christ, what a, what an antique track this is from, you know, m my childhood. Uh, so it is one of my more memorable dungeon tracks just because of that so i'm gonna put it not oh man where am i gonna put this one i'll put it where town was so all right next up fire temple I like the vibe from this one. It is one of the more lesser memorable uh, dungeon tracks. It, the only reason it is memorable is from its, you know, part, counterpart, the removed version with the, you know, Muslim chanting that was, the, you know, apparently controversial. Uh, it's it's a fine track. It's not quite as memorable for me. It doesn't have that Zelda flair, but it's got kind of a beat going, and I like it more than Dodongo's Cavern. So, for that reason, I'm going to be putting it and its predecessor. I'm going to pre rank this one just for a second. Fire Temple removed, and right above it, Fire Temple, and then, oh god, I've already forgotten what they are, Dodongo's Cavern, and then Chamber of, is that what it's called? Chamber of Secrets? Chamber of Sages, Chamber of Secrets, God, Harry Potter over here. Chamber of the Sages, not Chamber of Secrets. Uh, anyway, let's listen to Fire Temple Remove since I already pre-ranked it. Are we gonna get to hear it? Oh. Skip ahead, maybe? Oh. There it is. The ever controversial Muslim chanting. Uh, I had a copy of the original Needle you know, Fire Temple removed when I was playing as a kid. Uh, and man, this temple was creepy because of that, and it, the chanting is the only memorable part of the song, in my opinion, uh, and for that reason, it is a little bit better than the, you know, one that was put into the actual patched release, whatever. Uh, moving on, Ice Cavern. Again, fringy the music. I want to put it an insanely low. I uh, put it at 49. Considering it's kind of short as well, it's also not 
that memorable. Anyways, the water temple. Man, I remember this one growing up immensely because my mom stopped playing at the Water Temple and she had a save file on our Nintendo 64 and I would always just launch her profile and listen to this, you know, opening of the song. It's very memorable, in my opinion. So, I mean, it is very liquidy and it's just kind of like, it makes me feel like I'm drowning when I'm listening to it. Uh, it's not the most incredible piece of music that was ever made. I'm gonna fit it right here. This kind of works. Water Temple, right at 38 for now. Shadow Temple. It's got the, where is it, potion shot vibe, but it's still kind of generic, in my opinion. I don't know. It's too dark for my taste. I guess I could put it at 41. Yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna uh, swap it with, uh, with the water temper. Don't put it. Because this one's more memorable, in my opinion. Shadow Temple, you know, from the chanting and whatnot. Uh, and plus the Water Temple is kind of unpleasant to listen to. Anyway, everyone's favorite for whatever reason, Gerudo Valley. I get why everyone loves this one so much. It's a banjo, as everybody says. I think it's insanely overhyped, in my opinion. There's way better tracks in this game. I'm gonna put it at six for now. I'm gonna have to like squeeze this in because uh, uh, we don't have much of the playlist left, and I have a lot of open spots open. So I'm just gonna have to compact this a little bit. Anyway, Grid of Valley, Spirit Temple next. It's extremely memorable for me because, you know, this plays, if you uh, leave the title screen on for too long, it'll play like little snippets from the game and Spirit Temple, this music was playing during one of them. Uh, but it is insanely generic and I don't really enjoy it that much anyway, so I'm gonna swap it. Man, Water Temple's getting pushed down a little bit here. I'm gonna swap it with Water Temple once again. Spirit Temple. So, Water Temple right there. Next up, Kodak and Goom. I don't really like the vibe that this one's going. I'm getting tired of the potion shop kind of uh, music style that the game is going for for these tracks. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't really like it that much. I I recognize it, but I don't enjoy it. I'm gonna it kind of fits nice here, so I'm gonna put it right here. Anyway, meet Zelda again. I 
Uh, so I mentioned earlier that I think this track is better than Princess Zelda right here. I stand corrected, uh, although I, I don't enjoy Zelda's Lullaby that much. It's way too overplayed. I do like the orchestra take on Me Zelda again, so I'm going to put it just slightly above it. Oh my god, I'm about to move so many. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Alright. 32. Let's out again. Here we go, boys. Quite the process doing that is. Anyway, we got it nice and snug. Ganon's Castle Bridge. Uh, yeah, it's a filler track. I'm gonna go ahead and do this now. Uh, Inside Jabba Jabba's Belly is officially the worst. And followed by Ice Cavern. I feel like that's set in stone. Nothing could <laughs> be worse than those. So, just move these. And then I'll do... Ganondorf here. And then do Ganon's Castle Bridge here. I think that works. Anyway, Ganon's Castle Underground. Filler track, I don't enjoy it. I think these are slightly more iconic. Ganon's Tower. I think. Anyway, Ganon's Castle Underground could work there. We'll see. We have a lot more Ganon tracks to go through. So we might have to move some around drastically. Anyway, Ganon's Tower. It's such an iconic track for, you know, scaling the castles, the final battle. Although, what I want to do here is set in stone my top five since, you know, I leave these uh, open for, you know, possibilities. I get too hopeful. Zora's Domain is officially my number one track on this list. I doubt anything could top it. I'll put Long Line Ranch here. I left a lot of openness up here, but yeah. Gerudo Valley. And then title thing. I think that is pretty much set in stone for the most part. I want to leave five open because I have high hopes for that. Uh, and then we just move these down until where I think Ganon's Tower should go, which would be. Hyrule Castle. Uh, no, no, no. It'd be 31. Okay, so, so 31, anyway, uh, right here is gonna be Ganon's Tower, much more iconic than the other Ganon tracks, but still nothing too special, Ganondorf Battle. Indisputably the worst uh, boss battle theme. Uh, it's just too much of Ganondorf to be any sort of iconic or anything. It's just generic bad guy music. It's not iconic in any sorts. I'm going to put it where Cape War Gabe War was. So. Wow, this is a lot of rework in here. What is this? <gasps> Ganondorf Battle. We have much more generic Ganon tracks to weed out here. Alright.
Um, I don't like the military, you know, drum thing it's got going on here. Uh, I don't, it's not my favorite, uh, get it, it's not my least favorite either. I'd put a, oh my god, I gotta do so much more of this. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna put it at Ingo, I think. No. Right here, 47. Yeah, that's pretty good. And um, then right here is gonna be escape from Ganon's castle. All right, and then final battle against Ganon, our last track. It, it is the best Ganon track, indisputably. It's so epic. It's a great conclusionary battle theme. I'm going to put it... at 16. I feel like 16 is reasonable. Renumbering time. Oh, yes. All right. So the final track, final battle against Ganon. It's going at a solid 16. However, there's not, there's one track that is missing from this, from this playlist. I'm gonna find it now. Staff Roll. The end credits song. This was my definitive number five. Uh, it's the last thing you ever hear in terms of soundtrack from this game, and it does not disappoint. It is a great finish to Awkward of Time. I had a nice, big, sappy, uh, nostalgic monologue at the end of my last episode of Awkward of Time. Great piece of music, what can I say? Anyway, that's enough of that. This is my ranking of The Legend of Zelda. Oot. I'm forgetting the score. How could I forget that? So, at number 53, the worst track is Inside Jabu Jabu's Belly. 52 is Ice Cavern. 51 is Ganon's Castle Underground. 50 is Ganon. 49 is Ganon's Castle Bridge. 
48 is Escape from Ganon's Castle. 47 is Kotaki Kaum. 40, 47 is Kotaki Kaum. 46 is Ingo. 45 is Enter Ganondorf. 44 is Sheik. 43 is Fairy Navi. 42 is Water Temple. 41 is Spirit Temple. 40 is Ganondorf Battle. 39 is Kapora Gabora. 38 is Shooting Gallery. 37 is the Shadow Temple. 36 is the Chamber of Sages. 35 is the Donko's Cavern. 34 is Fire Temple. 33 is Fire Temple Removed. 32 is Princess Zelda. 31 is Pr Meet Zelda Again. 30 is Ganon's Tower. 29 is Hyrule Castle Courtyard. 28 is the Dongo Boss Battle. 27 is Lost Woods. 26 is Potion Shop. 25 is Inside the Deku Tree. 24 is Kokiri Forest. 23 is Deku Tree. 22 is Minigame. 21 is Middle Boss Battle. Top 20. Number 20, Temple of Time. 19, Great Fairy's Fountain. 18, Forest Temple. 17, Final Battle Against Ganon. 16, Town. 15, Hyrule Field. 14, Horse Battle. 13, <clears throat> Battle. 12, <clears throat> Boss Battle. 11 is Windmill Hut. 10, Top 10, Inside a House, the old memer. 9 is Kakarika Village. 8 is Kakarika Village 2. 7 is Good Old Shop. 6 is Goron City. 5 is Staff Roll. 4 is Tidal Theme. 3 is Gerudo Valley. 2 is Lon Lon Ranch. And Good Old Number 1 is Zora's Domain. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's my ranking. It's been an hour and 10 minutes. I've listened to a lot of Zelda music. These top 10 men, I go back to them all the time. The great tracks. Uh, as well as Boss Battle. But uh, yeah. This is my ranking. It took forever. Uh, if you guys have any problems with it, feel free to let me know. And I'd be happy to discuss it with you in the comments and whatnot. But uh, yeah. Bye, guys. No. And remember, stay gamer.